This is very interesting. A popular weight loss drug may help people with sleep apnea. Pharmaceutical manufacturer Eli Lilly says clinical trials show its drug Zepbound provided considerable relief to overweight or obese people who had obstructive sleep apnea or episodes where they stopped breathing during sleep. Joining us to talk about this and our other health topics, Dr. Bill Hartman, clinical trialist at UW Health. Doctor, great to see you. This is an interesting new study out about Zepbound. And Zepbound, it's like Ozempic or Wegovy, right? Right. These are all part of those uh, class of drugs that are known as GLP-1s. Uh, fantastic drugs with amazing effects. And it seems like every week uh, something new is coming out that's, that's very positive. This week, uh, these studies are showing that this is a very beneficial uh, medicine to treat obstructive sleep apnea, which is a uh, disease, if you will, that affects almost uh, 30 to 40 million Americans. Um, many just think of it as snoring, but obstructive sleep apnea, uh, because of the apneic spells that can happen at night, leads to things like heart arrhythmias and heart failure and can even cause death. And so this is a, a big deal that there's now a medicine that might be able to help uh, alleviate uh, some of these some of these issues. Yeah, I've got a friend has got to wear the big machine at night because, yeah, it can be so dangerous with sleep apnea to go to sleep at night. I, I was reading the biggest deal part of this is it may make it eligible to be covered by insurance. I mean, Zepbound, that is not cheap. No, none of these medicines are, are cheap uh, on their own. And really, it, they're, they're becoming such uh, a benefit to so many people in so many different ways that insurance companies really have to start looking at them uh, to see whether or not they will uh, approve them so that to, to, to pay for them uh, so that these people can get these benefits way beyond just the, the normal indication of diabetes management. Yeah, I was reading the cost over $1,000 just for a month of Zepbound. It's an incredible drug. I mean, people lost 20% of their body weight on it. And while obviously the drug here is being credited for helping with the sleep apnea, if you have that, could any form of weight loss help cure it? It's likely, and we've seen that before, where people have dramatic weight loss and uh, their, their incidence of sleep apnea uh, goes down quite a bit. Uh, in this case, though, we know it, 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 it's very, very likely that if you take this medicine, you will lose weight, and losing that weight is likely what's leading uh, to the, the people to have these fewer uh, apneic episodes at night. Yeah, not just some weight, a lot of weight here. And on this note, Eli Lilly, the company that makes it, they're seeking label expansion for Mongero and Zepbound. What does that mean? So by, by expanding their indications uh, on their label, they will make it more attractive to the insurance companies to help pay for these medicines. And so the more indications that they can uh, put onto their label, the more indications that will be covered uh, by the insurance companies. We only have like 20 seconds, but I want to ask you about the fake Botox going around. People in nine states have reported problems. What's happening out there? And we're going to see cases likely to, to increase too, but uh, essentially, uh, Botox that has been created by uh, a manufacturer other than uh, AbbVie, the normal uh, uh, producer of Botox, is causing problems and causing uh, people to experience uh, problems swallowing, problems breathing, and having to go to the hospital. It's important to remember that Botox is really botulinum toxin. Uh, it's a neurotoxin that paralyzes your muscles. And so if it's uh, improperly made, uh, it's going to cause problems. So make sure when you go to your doctor that they're, that they're an accredited physician to, to, to inject Botox and that the Botox that they're using is uh, the FDA-approved Botox. Might not even be your doctor. Might be your uh, the hairdresser or the dentist who's giving Botox now. It's out there everywhere. Dr. Bill Hartman, appreciate your time.